Hey guys, uh, Chip from Expander Pan here with you. We got a real treat today. Um, I've got my hands on the brand new Duke 550s. Um, we had an opportunity to do some preliminary work and develop a pan for these traps uh, several weeks ago. And uh, but it always takes till you actually get the actual trap to make sure it fits. This one uh, looks great. It fits super good. Um, had a friend of mine, Mr. Curtis Atkins, had actually picked up a dozen of these yesterday, I think, and brought them by and allowed us to uh, to uh, weld some 550s on here. So I thought we'd do a quick tutorial. This is the 12th of the of the uh, dozen that I'm welding on, so I wish I could show you the lineup. But basically, very similar to our other products, we leave you four inspection holes right here in the pan. I have not welded these top two. The camera can probably zoom in and see these little bitty divots that, uh, that I'm pointing to. That's on the original pan. That helps to make sure that you have this expanded pan squared up to your jaw to the jaws of your trap. It's really really important because the Duke 550 is a square is a square pan trap. It's really really easy. Basically, all I did, I'm hoping this is cooled off some, and it has. All I did was basically hold. See if I can turn this where the camera can see it. Basically, held the expanded pan along with the parallel lines that that make the square pan and I clamped it with these needle nose vice grips. That's all in the world I did. I looked then at that point to make sure that I could see my landmarks, which are the, which are the back corners of the square pan on the back and the front divot holes right here on, on the front where they've been where they've been their pan tabs down. Uh, once I had that in place, I just locked my vice grips together and it's super, super simple after that. All I'm gonna do is just fill these holes up with, uh, with just a little bead real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and weld both of these. Guys, at that point right there, I left a little bit of hole right here on one. At that point, that pan is, a, is permanently attached to that trap. Now, because we do use these to catch coyotes and all kinds of critters, and uh, we're out here in the real world, uh, I like to go ahead and a little bit better secure them. I think that's probably good, but on every one of mine, I turn it upside down. Notice this trap is closed. I turn it upside down, I'm going to get a, a good bead right here on the front. That's all it takes right there. And I'm going to turn around on the back two corners. It's a little bit tricky getting in here, but it's no problem. Just a little, a little bead right there and another tack right here on the back. Now I've got that pan welded. Top, bottom, left, right, all the way around, that, that pan is not gonna come off ever. It's a really, really good solid trap. Here's some guys that we've uh, that we've already welded up. I think this completes the dozen right there. And let me grab one that's not quite so hot. And I'll, uh, I'll set it real quick for you. And we'll show you what they look like. We probably should've taken the welding glove off to do that. even though I didn't get the dog on straight right there. But that's what they look like installed. Guys, uh, Duke 550s, uh, it's gonna be a good solid trap. Uh, I look for those to probably become extremely popular. Uh, they are available, I think, starting this week. Uh, this happens to be June of 2019. I think most of the distributors and warehouses will, uh, they're coming this week. So uh, get you some. Uh, Duke 550s with expanded pans. We will have the, uh, five, the 550 expanded pans uh, available on our website very, very shortly, uh, like within the week as well. Uh, appreciate you watching, guys. Until uh, next time, we'll see you a little uh, further down the trap line.